Imagine traveling on a train that is faster than an airplane. Well, this is no longer a dream. This has become a reality. The new Maglev railway train in China has recently achieved an insane speed of 1,000 kilometers per hour in its latest test, allowing commuters to travel from Shanghai to Hangzhou in just nine minutes. That is a distance traveled through a 150 kilometer long tunnel, which is insane and unheard of. Just imagine being able to travel between all the major cities in your country in just under 10 minutes. That's what's happening in China right now. The speed of 1,000 kilometers per hour officially makes it the fastest train the world has ever seen. But China isn't stopping there. In fact, China's new maglev train system will change how we view transportation and set the country as the pioneer of a new age in the modern world of technological advancements. Welcome back to PST Mega Projects. China has successfully conducted its high-speed flying train speed test over a two kilometers long test track, which was specially designed to accommodate this technology with extreme attention to detail and precision to its flatness and geometry. This was just the first phase of testing, as China plans to extend the track to a whooping 60 kilometers for its second phase, allowing the train to reach the same speed of 1,000 kilometers per hour and hold it over a longer period of time and a longer travel distance, which is the biggest challenge when it comes to these kinds of trains. Also, China aims to build another tube with the Hyperloop train project that will connect Beijing and the Wuhan province, which will significantly accelerate travel and transportation in the country, offering an even faster alternative to air travel. To shed some light on how significant the speed of a 1,000 km per hour train is, the previous holder of the speed record for a magnetic levitation train was the Japanese Shinkansen, which reached a speed of 600 km per hour. In contrast, regular planes travel at a speed of around 900 km per hour at cruising speed, at top speed, a Boeing airplane travels at just over 1,000 km per hour. In addition to its insane speed, the Chinese breakthrough comes at a rough time for Hyperloop technology, as the entire industry is experiencing ups and downs with the complete closing of Virgin Hyperloop as well as its entire offices in 2023. Virgin Hyperloop was one of the sector's leading companies, and it worked to commercialize high-speed travel utilizing the Hyperloop concept but it shut down because of a number of challenges, including financial challenges and high interest rates. Also, it was abandoned by one of its most important backers, Elon Musk. He had abandoned the project years prior, even though he was initially the first person to propose the idea of an entire tube system in 2013, in which the tubes would hold and propel a person inside at insane speeds, <laughs> but no one paid attention to his ideas, and he was laughed at. You all laughed at me. Well, I have to say, you're not laughing now, are you? The plan to connect Shanghai and Hangzhou makes it China's first hyperspeed rail, which will completely innovate China's already top-tier railway system. Not only that, but it is the longest and largest full-scale ultra-high-speed low-vacuum tube maglev transportation system under construction in the world. While it is still not yet fully completed, it is within arm's reach for China to accomplish its goal of connecting its major cities within the time span of under 10 minutes. So, how does it actually work? The Maglev Hyperspeed Railway System uses magnetic levitation technology alongside low vacuum technology, which raises the train just 10 centimeters above the track, allowing it to reach insane speeds. People have raised concerns over the safety of such technology, but contrary to popular belief, a hyperspeed magnetic system is actually much safer than people think. It is much safer than traditional railway trains, airplanes, and even faster bullet trains or any other form of transport. This is because there is no traffic in the way, not even on the track, so there's nothing for the train to crash into. Also, the train also has no wheels, which takes away the risks of malfunctions and for the train to jump off its track. Additionally, in an enclosed tube, even wind speed does not become a factor. The track also runs in one long straight line from city to city, meaning that there are no twists and turns, which are dangerous for a train moving at such high speeds. Magnetic systems also have a low failure rate because there is no friction or grinding of mechanical parts, such as wheels on a track or parts moving the wheels. Overall, it is a much safer, more stable system, and it will also have a longer lifespan than traditional high-speed trains, which makes it cost-effective in the long run. 
we can actually say with confidence that this will be the future's main form of transportation. As of 2022, China has a railway operating mileage of 155,000 kilometers and a high-speed railway mileage of 42,000 kilometers. Half of that total was completed in the last five years alone, and China hopes to double the total mileage in the coming years. They are already ranked number one in the world when it comes to railway transportation, but that isn't stopping them from expanding and innovating even more. Since 2017, China has been researching high-speed flying trains and has invested heavily into this technology and infrastructure before creating a three-step plan to implement a new high-speed railway system around the country. The first step was to achieve a speed of 1,000 kilometers an hour, and as if this wasn't crazy enough. The second step is to reach the speed of 2,000 kilometers an hour and break the sound barrier, while the third step is to reach an insane speed of 4,000 kilometers per hour. Can humans even withstand such speeds without any damage to their bodies? China already achieved the first step of its plan. By the end, their maglev trains will be more than four times the speed of a Boeing plane. The High Speed Flying Trains Speed Test Line Verification Project in Datong, Shangxi, is responsible for testing and reaching those kinds of insane speeds. And they have been doing a super job in achieving the country's goals so far. China is expected to have an entire magnetic railway system by 2035 throughout the entire country. Their previous plan was completed in 2020, which installed high-speed trains around the country that reach speeds of 37k kilometers per hour. But they said that they're going to pump those numbers up. Three or four times, maybe. I'm going to pump those numbers up. Those are rookie numbers in this racket. Although China entered the railway system race late, they are still the leading country, and they hope to one day be able to break the speed of sound, which will honestly be a sight to behold, and they are not that far off. There are already six operational maglev trains in the world, one in Japan, two in South Korea, and three in China. But only in testing have they reached the insane speed of 1,000 kilometers per hour. As for why China is building these trains, the benefits of the maglev train are that not only is it faster, but it is also extremely cost efficient. The train system can operate at very high speeds, almost without deterioration, and therefore it becomes more economical to operate than standardized wheel transit systems that require regular intensive maintenance. It will also boost the country's economy and GDP as it enhances tourism, trade and travel, as well as help the environment, because maglev trains use far less energy and emit no pollutants. Also, they will help reduce air and road congestion as they offer a quicker and cleaner alternative to other means of transportation such as flying and driving. Now, although the maglev train is an amazing piece of technology and a revolutionary form of transportation, it does present some challenges and setbacks. The biggest issue is maintaining a vacuum over vast distances and over a long period, which is the issue that China is currently tackling and hoping to overcome. The other obstacles are China's vast size as well as varying terrains and environments, such as the snowy regions and the wet, humid deltas, as it's difficult to build long straight tracks when there are mountains, farming lands, and seas in the way. Regardless of these issues, China has been moving at an accelerated pace from the very beginning, amazing the entire world with its unprecedented growth and insane breakthroughs in technology and infrastructure. China has set the tone for the new way of transportation, a new age of travel where every major city is just 10 minutes away and easily within your reach. They have set the standard, and surely the rest of the leading countries of the world will follow. That is everything for now. What do you think about the maglev train system? Will you be using any of these magnetic railway projects in the future? Do you think we will ever be able to achieve the speed of sound and one day the speed of light? Please let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't, please subscribe and leave a like for this video. Your support helps us continue our work. Thanks again for your support, and I will see you in the next one.